Okay guys, so today we're gonna be fishing for some sunnies, maybe do, probably doing a catch and cook. Colin, he's filming this. <laughs> um, so hopefully we can get on some sunnies and make a cool video for you. Okay guys, so first cast, I well I wasn't really fishing for sunnies, I casted a Senko under a pontoon. Under that pontoon? Yeah, caught a little bass. He felt a lot bigger though. Probably so. like a little half pound. I don't really like keeping bass, so we're gonna release him. I did, it tastes good. We'll probably, <laughs> we'll probably catch some more sunnies. That so. tastes pretty good. Oh my gosh, guys, I just got this big and sunny. Perfect for eating. So, this is gonna be great. He's nice and thick. Guys, I caught my PB right here. Big and. Oh. I'm sorry, boy. He fell through the cracks in the docks. But that's alright, you know. Gotta catch So, Colin, Colin just caught this giant on his wacky rig. Wasn't he? Oh, he's bleeding. I could tell. Yeah, one second. Okay. So, we need the scale. Holy cow. Dad, yeah, can you record this? Yeah. Yeah, it's a big Did you hit record? Because I I didn't hit anything. Cause it, yeah, it's recording. Yeah. Holy cow. Oh, yeah, he's Holy bleeding. Dude. Oh, right on your new shoes. Oh, that's. Rip. Ooh, try to. Let's not have it bleed on the carpet here. Okay, it's through that. Let's see Okay guys, so I just caught this pike. He hit it super hard on the swim jig. I thought it was a muskie, but he was just in the weeds. It was super heavy. Holy cow, that's nice. Nice little pike. Okay, so I flipped his swim jig. Right over that branch. Over the branch in the tree. And he jumped up and ate it. I missed that one. And Andrew somehow it. manages to So I set the hook and flipped him over the tree branch. We're gonna eat that one. Yeah, it's a very good eating size. Eating. Don't get cringed at this, it's all right. You can eat fish. Yeah. Yeah, you don't. We're, we're keeping more bass in the lake. You haters. That's a good half pounder. That's a good eater. This is how I'm going to fillet them. Riley does it a little bit differently, but it's the same thing. You get, all, you get the meat off them, it's fine. So, you cut right there. And on this, on the back side of the fin, in the gill plate. Then that's not a decent one for this little guy. Riley got a little nice fillet. They're kind of hard then to play with. Then you same should thing. um put your knife down until you feel the, you should feel the spine as you go through. And then once you get to about the butt, you. Oh, we didn't scale that one. You go like this. And you pop it out. And then you angle it down to get as much meat as possible off of them. When you get to the tail, leave a little bit so it's easier to cut off of it in a little bit. <coughs> so then you cut this down until you get the rib cage, then you have to go up a little bit. Oh, I think this one might actually be a good filler. Well, that's good, Riley. Yeah, I'm kind of chunky. This one, I sharpened the knife a little bit before I flayed this one, so it actually cut pretty good. What's, dude, what'd you just throw? So you cut down all the way to the bottom. I messed up a little bit. I got some, like, the fins and stuff, but that's all right. You can just cut those off. Then... You cut angled down. This guy's actually uh -oh. cool. <laughs> That might not have been the best job, but then you cut like this. And fly. you leave room so it's a little bit easier. I'm gonna fly right there. Not too big. You leave it a little bit of skin on the tail so it's a lot e it's a little easier to hold it. See, Andrew's getting bigger meat off that one because that those fish this, are bigger. Yeah, these fish are a lot bigger. We have, we each flayed three big ones and then that's the third one. And then one. you have to feel for any bones because they have little bones in their side and this one doesn't feel like there's much oh yeah, yeah I, I don't think there's any in here so you mean egg still so that's nice 
So that's the filet I got off of one of them. So now I'll show you how to cook them. All right, yeah. guys, we just found a bullhead in this bass. Yeah, shot. I, I right said here. that we should cut open the bass and stomach. You and got little, little, little baby spines. Bullhead. This thing's tiny. Holy cow. Those little spines, that, that's what shot. Okay, okay. now we can show you how to cook these fish. Okay, guys, so right away you got to put some oil in a pan and heat it up. So that that's where you're going to be cooking your fish. Now I'll show you how to bread them and stuff. Oh my so, God. this is our filets. These are in meat. We're going to get a lot of food. Yeah, um, Andrew? Oh, and then Colin's adding a little bit of milk to the egg. Yeah. And then you mix that up. And then you dip it in this short lunch. So, and then you put it in that, and then you'll put it in the oil. You'll see. Okay, so, so you take your filet. You mix it around in the egg and milk. And move it over to the breading. Mix it around. And then you toss her in the oil with your scissors. For about, what, 10 to 20 seconds? Yeah, not that long. You're ready to flip it. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's how you pretty flip it. And then you take her, flip her over. Oh, we, that side needs a little more. Just because. Flip it down the inside. Yeah, flip it back. That's not good. It's because it usually cooks through. It's through only. It's probably not good. Uh oh. No, I think you just make sure lunch today. I think it's fine. Like, I think you okay. missed the burning part. That should be good. Mm. Guys, so, so we have the rice. They look really good. Oh, kind of fall apart. Mmm. They're really good. So good. Holy cow. These are better than our last ones so that we did on his channel. Um, I'm just a piece of the bass so far. I'm going to try it. Yeah, we're good. Okay, guys, thank you for watching the video. Um, I know I sort of cut you off there at the end, but I don't know. It was just a sort of awkward ending. My dad ended it a little weird time. Um, so, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace. I already got enough of them.